Hey guys, welcome back to Little Boy Customs. Today we're going to be working on the front end of the truck and try to get some fenders on and maybe even a hood. All right guys, we're here with the truck. We're going to be working on getting the front fenders mounted, the hood mounted, the core support actually attached to the frame and possibly the front grill put back inside the truck. We have a new deadline of when I want to get this truck finished and it is coming up rapidly. Uh, if you see the icebox back there, I'll take you over there here in just a second. There's a long list of things that we still need to do on the truck and we'll go down that list. Typically what I do is I show you in great detail about everything that I've done to the truck. That way it'll help you build things and I hope that does help you. But between now and my deadline that I have set, which is the beginning of June, I want to get this truck on the road and so I'm going to go down that, through that list over there and I'll show you everything that's on it. If there's something that you absolutely want to see in detail, leave a comment below and I'll make sure to make a detailed video of that. Otherwise, I'm going to bust through that list as fast as I can. We'll do a lot of time lapse video and uh, all that. This video here will still be informative because y'all haven't had a chance to say whether y'all want it to be or not. So. This video here about the front fenders, how I put them all on, what hardware I use because it's not the hardware that came with the truck, what all I use in order to get this front end to mount to the Grand Marquis frame. I'll still go into detail about all that, but let's go over here to the fridge real quick and see the list and then that way y'all know what, what we want to do detail videos on and what we don't. All right, I'm not sure if y'all can see all this, my handwriting, actually it's my wife's handwriting, but. Either way, you may not be able to read it. First thing I gotta do is mount core support. We'll do that today. Install the front end, hopefully do that all today. Still need to wire the truck up. Need to make windshield wipers for the truck. Um, planning on using the original Grand Marquis motor and then rigging something up on that. Need to weld the gap that's in the cab that is in between the firewall and the top side of the cab. Need to take care of that. Need to install and adjust the passenger and driver door. Passenger door is installed, we just need to adjust it. We totally need to do everything for the driver's side. Um, gonna install some sound deadener. Uh, need to install the glass. Need to find some, find some seats and install that. We'll have to build a middle console because I'm gonna do bucket seats. And possibly do a floor shifter um, depending on if I can rig something up or whatever. Still need to do exhaust. Uh, the steering column is too long on this truck because uh, I'm going to use their factory original steering column and so therefore I need to shorten that steering column down a little bit. Um, that there is my personal preference. Don't do what I do on that because I don't want to be liable for something crazy bad happening to you. Um, still need to fix the gas filler neck. Rig something up on that. Need to convert the tail lights and blinkers. I'm going to use the original housings that came with the truck and somehow or another mount the lighting hardware from the car into that. Still need to finish the bed. I know I posted last time that we did finish the bed, but uh, we have one little section on top to weld and we have the back end of it, which I have something special planned for that, that in order to finish the bed out. We need to come up with some paint colors and get the truck ready to be painted and paint. Need to install the front and rear bumpers. Need to find some side mirrors so that we can have a uh, mirrors and install those uh still need to fix the dash and complete that out and then my radiator hoses are way too long on this and so i'm gonna have to figure something out i'll we'll probably do is one of those uh one size fits all radiator hoses and make those work but that's the list if there's something on that list that you absolutely want to see in detail leave a comment below like i said a while ago and we'll do a detailed video on that Otherwise, from here on out, it's going to be a lot of, uh, unless I hear otherwise from one of y'all, it's going to be a lot of time-lapse videos of just busting the truck out as fast as we can. Mainly because I'm ready to drive this truck and get it on the road. Summertime's here, car shows are going on, and I would love to get this thing out and start seeing people and doing things in it. Plus, so if you're interested in knowing how I built this core support right here, the main part of the core support is the truck. This part of the core support is out of the car, which holds the radiator. I'll leave a link up here somewhere 
for you to check out how I built that. So far what we've done is we've attached the inner fender wells which were cut down dramatically from the last build onto the cab and then just bolted the top side of that onto the core support. Core support's not attached to anything. As you can see, we can move it around. And uh, so now we're gonna figure out where we want this core support so that when we put the fenders on and all that good stuff, it all lines up and looks like it's supposed to be. In order to do that, first thing we need to do is put on a fender. That way we can line up these body lines over here so we know how far to jack the front core support up and down. The other part that I have a problem with right now is, I don't know if you can tell, but the back half of it's leaning backwards, the bottom half of it's kicked out, so we're probably gonna have to grab some straps, grab, hook onto the bottom half of it, and pull that back in in order to straighten this thing up a little bit while it's sitting there so that we can make some holes in it right down here to bolt it all up. So what I did so far, and this is from the previous build, not now, but that piece of angle iron right there is welded to the frame. And then originally that was the location of the hole for the um, original body that I had on here. It was much lower than what this truck is now. And what I did was I just drilled a hole through the angle iron, drilled a hole through the core support and used a bolt and ran it through there and bolted it all together. It worked out really well. But this truck sets a lot higher, so that bolt pattern there is not going to work. What I need to do is just figure out how much higher I need to raise this, and then drill a new hole into the core support and put a new bolt in there. Now, if your truck is like mine, uh, the first fenders were rusted out in this location. These are a little bit worse as far as rust down here in the bottom section but the bolts almost always get seized on to the uh on the fender this right here is what actually attached to right there so you'd unbolt it from inside the cab that bolt would have ran through that hole and then popped off they almost always seize up on me and so uh either i strip uh not a uh, break the bolt off whenever I'm trying to unbolt these. And so what I have found the easiest to do, these here come off the front fenders of the Grand Marquis or Crown Vic. It's a, uh, I don't know what you call this thing, but it, it's uh, threads on both ends and then two different nuts, which you see right here. Uh, and I, these two nuts didn't come off of this. It just happens that these two fit this. This came out of the car somewhere else. I can't tell you where. But what I end up doing is I'll use the smaller nut to go behind this hole and then we'll thread this in to where it sets like that. And then when we get ready to put the fender on, we have the big nut with the built-in washer that will actually go inside the cab and bolt all of this together. So that's what we're gonna work on first. curious do y'all wander around your shop for 20 minutes looking for some bolts because you typically bag and tag everything but you can't find a bag or bolts that say hood hinges and then you finally wander back to your truck and realize that you bolted them right back in where they came out of man did I waste some time Those are probably not in the right spot. I cannot believe I put these right back in. At least I didn't lose them. Well. Ah! I must ate my Wheaties the day I put these back on. Cause that, the 
not let them out. Oh, you're long-winded. Get it in. Come on. Fine. After wandering around for 20 more minutes looking for this damn thing, I finally found it. Well, I found the uh, bolts for the hood, and I'm going to do the right thing and sandblasted them. Let's see if we can one man put this uh, hood onto this truck. That ought to be a fun show. It was at this moment here I realized I had to take the hood back off because one of the nuts that hold bolt on to the hood was missing. Round two. All right, guys, hood is on, fenders are on, core supports mounted. The only thing I'm missing is the front grill and then the hood latch that would have latched the hood down. Uh, I'm gonna wait on putting the front grill in because as you can see, the body lines aren't quite right. They're a little off and the hood needs lots of adjustment as you can see here it's not quite right i physically cannot lift this hood by myself uh it wore me out just putting it on twice bolting it down i'm gonna have to have some help in order to get the hood put into the right location and do the adjustments so i'm gonna have to wait for somebody to uh, show up over here in order to get that taken care of so until I can get that done, I'm going to wait on the grill, and I want to adjust this fender a little bit. While they're here, we may go ahead and get the doors adjusted and get the other door put on, And uh, but that's where we're at right now. It doesn't look that bad. Uh, truck's really coming along. Looks more like a complete truck now, more so than it's ever looked. This is as close as I've been to having a full truck, so I'm pretty stoked by that. Can't wait to finish this project. All right, guys, that's going to do it for this episode today. I hope you enjoyed what you watched. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Make sure you leave a comment below about anything that you want to see detailed on the truck because we're fixing to put this build into high gear and get it finished. I'm ready to start driving it. Summer's here. It's going to be fun to drive, so I'm ready to get, get it on the road. So if you want to see something in the build, detailed, coming up, off that list that was at the beginning of the episode make sure to leave a comment below that way i can get that taken care of for you so if you haven't subscribed to the channel uh, please consider doing so it really helps me out tremendously until next time thanks for watching be safe